What's up guys, Mac is back here doing another action figure wrestling figure review And like I said before, like I promised, here is Series 37 Elite, Seth Rollins In new gear, updated gear, which we finally got in Elite form But before we look at the figure itself, let's take a look at the packaging So, pretty standard, uh, basic Elite packaging uh, It's got stats on the back, and this attire is based on Hell in a Cell 2014 Where he took on the Lunatic Fringe Former Shield mate member Dean Ambrose and his former affiliations is the Shield. He's from Davenport, Iowa. New Seth Rollins logo right there, which is badass. Uh, curb stomp. Uh, he what's the curb stomp? He he never used the curb stomp. Shh, don't let WWE know. Uh, his weight was 17, 2012. Uh, he debuted 2011 from uh, FCW, then he went to NXT, became the first ever NXT champion and current WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, height uh, six foot one, standard. So um. Let's take a look at the figure itself. So here's Seth Rollins in all of his glory. Uh, he comes with three accessories, uh, two cinder blocks that are breakable, which I'll show you in a second, and the Money in the Bank current look of the Money in the Bank briefcase, which is, uh, there's nothing inside. Let me just see. Yep, nothing inside. And let me show you how these break. So, place them here. Uh, hey, look, it's Dean Ambrose. Uh, check out his review. I'll put it in the description. Put his head right there. And uh, don't let them really know I use this. Bleh, break, break. Ugh, damn it. Um, they, yay, they, 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 they broke. Yay. So, bye, Dean. Sorry about that. Faulty. Uh, so, he comes with uh, his removable vest, which is weird looking. But it comes off pretty okay. It snaps in the back, and he is pretty ripped figure. The attire is great, but the knee pad's discolored. Uh, it's weird. It's like this weird gray from this black. If they went with this black... The shade of black on his pants would have been fine. Comes with the silver line, the new logo on his belt, which they updated. He's got a new face scan, uh, similar to the one we got in Series 33, but just a frowny face. He's still got the gloves, and he's got his uh, uh, Chinese lettering on his back. They're either Chinese or Japanese. Let me uh, focus on that. Yeah, they're pretty cool tattoos. Uh, check out Superstar Ink video. I'll put that in the description, too. But, yeah, here's a really, this is a really awesome, pretty awesome Seth Rollins action figure. So what I like to do in these videos, as you know, is do a comparison of each Elite figure I have. So here's the new, brand new Elite Series 37 figure. And right next to him, we got Series 33 that came with a tag team champions of Seth Rollins and his shield gear from WrestleMania 30. And we got uh, Series 25, I believe. Uh, Seth Rollins uh, in a ponytail with some weird bun in the back. It was all his shield garb. Uh, when he had the really fucked up vest. Uh, sorry, let me uh, move over so you can see. And so this is basically the evolution of Seth Rollins. Uh, don't quote me on that. But you can see how he went from main shield to, like, this is where he started to become, like, a traitor. Because once he, like, betrayed him, he stopped wearing this vest and just wore, like, the undershirt. Then he transformed to this Seth Rollins, which I like. I love this gear. But, yeah, so here's the evolution of Seth Rollins. Alright, so this has been my review of Elite Series 37 Seth Rollins. I advise you guys pick him up at ringsidecollectibles.com, wrestlingfigures.com if where you use discount code Grimm <coughs> sorry, discount code Grimm at checkout, you'll save 10%. That's what I did with Roman and Seth. So do that. I'll put his review in the description like I do all my videos. And check him out. He's really good. So thank you guys for watching this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully you'll see me in my next video. Peace.